Hi guys, we're back, hopefully with some value, because here are my eight way too early anti-post selections for the 2024 Cheltenham Festival. Make sure you bookmark this video, we'll check back in March to see how many winners we got, but here we go, let's get into it. Now up first, I like Goodland at 25 to 1 for the Brown Advisory. He had a great campaign last season, finishing fourth in the Ballymore at the Cheltenham Festival. Barry Connell has said that he's likely to go chasing this season. His best performance arguably came over two miles six in the Nathaniel AC before the Cheltenham Festival. So it is just a speculative guess at which novice chase he will go for. But at 25 to 1, I'm happy to take the punt on the Brown Advisory. Now, next up, and a bet that I absolutely love, is State Man at 6-1 to one for the champion hurdle. Now, State Man just happens to be alive at a time where there's an absolute superstar in the two-mile hurdling division in Constitution Hill. Uh, was given time form second best hurdling rating of 167 this year, obviously behind Constitution Hill. I think it's fair to say he's likely to stay over hurdles, he's likely to target this race, and the two ahead of him in the market currently in Constitution Hill and Illa Tay Tomps are very likely to go chasing. I can see this price shortening all the way through the season, and I really do believe he's going to win the champion hurdle in 2024. My next bet is Tiupu at 12 to 1 for the Stayers hurdle. The horse that came second in the race this year, answering questions on whether or not he stays that three mile distance. In 2024, he's going to be entering his seven year old season, so I think he'll progress ahead of those that are beaten him this year in Classical Dream and Cider Burley. There will be others that will enter this race, like Gaelic Warrior, for example, I'm sure, and plenty of other horses that will come into this market. But I really do believe at 12 to 1, the horse that finished second this year and will likely progress is a great bet for this race. Now, next up, and a bet in the mayor's hurdle, You Wear It Well at 20 to 1. You Wear It Well won the mayor's novices hurdle this year, impressively. Uh, and I think we'll see that natural race progression from the mayor's novices hurdle into the mayor's hurdle. Uh, Love Envoy was a length away from completing the you know, two-year feat this year, finishing second in the mayor's hurdle. You Wear It Well stayed on strongly. Um, I think we'll... She will easily get the two mile four distance of the mayor's hurdle. Happy to write off the Aintree run a few weeks after the Cheltenham Festival. I think at 20 to 1 is a great shot to do the double year after year. Now, my next bet is Edward Stone, who's currently priced at 22 to 1 for the champion chase. Edward Stone went off 15 to 8 second favourite for this race only a few months ago, and I think it's fair to say did not turn up on the day. But let's remember, Edward Stone is a previous winner at the festival, won the Arkle last year and is a quality horse. You know, beat, beat an Ergamine in January this year, so has that quality. Now, it'll be interesting to see how the novices come into this division, the likes of John Bon, El Fabiolo. But if they don't have the quality to match those, you know, proven horses, then I think it could be an Ergamine versus Edward Stone in the market again. And he'll certainly be a lot shorter than 22 to 1 if that's the case. Now, my next selection is a real boom or bust pick. A horse who could go off even money favourite or could be retired before the 2024 festival. But I still like this selection, and that is Alaho at 8-1 for the Ryanair. A horse who will be going into his 10-year-old season in 2024, but I think, if he's fit, still has the quality to win this race. He's won six of his last seven races, all that have been group grade ones or grade twos. He won the 2021 race. He won the 2022 Ryanair. And look, whilst he missed it for a setback in 2023, I think he still could win that 2024 race. Like I say, a boom or bust pick. He might not even be at the race, but if he is, and if he has a great season, he'll shorten and shorten and shorten and will be a much shorter price than 8-1 to one on the day. My penultimate selection and another Barry Connell horse is Marine National, currently priced at 14 to 1 for the Turners. Now hear me out here. Marine National, a quality horse, was unbeaten in the 22-23 season. Obviously we saw him win the Supreme ahead of Fasal Vega. Brilliant season. Barry Connell has said that he's likely to go chasing. And I think therefore the options are the Arkle or the Turners. I think... 
Constitution Hill's most likely route is the Arkle, and therefore to maintain the unbeaten record of Marine Nationale, I think Barry Connell puts Marine Nationale in the Turners. So whilst the Arkle is probably the most likely route here, and certainly the markets will tell you that, I can see him going this route, and therefore at 14 to 1, I think there's value there. Now, a fun one to finish and a horse that I just cannot get away from. Final selection is Johnny Who at 33 to 1 for the Ballymore Novices Hurdle. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I just cannot stop banging on about this horse. Uh, the horse beat Hermes Allen, the Ballymore favourite, by 19 lengths in a point to point before being purchased by JP McManus for over £300,000. He ran in his first race a bumper a few months ago and barely came off the bridle. And look, he's likely to go over hurdles this season. So it's a tentative selection. It's a mad selection. But I think this horse could be special. And at 33 to 1 for the Ballymore, why not? So there's my eight selections. Let me know if there's any other horses that you think represent good value at this stage. But let's come back to it in March and see how many winners we got. Good luck. <laughs>